Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face using makeup from Dollar General. So I just went there today and I was so surprised with how much product that they had there. They literally had stuff from like Wet n Wild, Maybelline, CoverGirl. I didn't get any of those brands though. I stuck with Broadway colors and LA colors because that's like the Dollar Tree slash like Dollar General brands that I wanted to stick with just because obviously I've used those other products before from like Maybelline and Wet n Wild and stuff. I got everything for a full face as you can see here. My little table I have everything I even got some makeup sponges which I'm excited for because they feel really really nice I didn't get makeup brushes because they didn't really have a huge selection one two I want to give these products a fair shot so I want to use just the brushes that I normally would in my collection most of them are affordable though so I will leave the brushes that I use down below some of my current favorite brushes are actually from Amazon and they're under $20 so check the description box for the details also we are not going to judge over here on this channel we are going to keep an open mind in my Dollar Tree makeup challenge I was getting so many mean comments and I was like, it's just makeup. <laughs> At the end of the day, not everything is gonna work for everybody and I'm not gonna recommend something to you guys just because it's affordable. I'm gonna test the products out as if they were high end. You know what I'm saying? Like price to me doesn't mean anything. If the quality is right, I'm gonna let you guys know about it. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna let you guys know about it. I am the least judgmental person. I am super open-minded, especially when it comes to trying out makeup that is more on the affordable side because I know that not everybody wants to spend $100 on like two makeup products. Like I totally get it. So open minds over here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the products that I used down below. If I can find them, I will try to link them. So check down below. <laughs> Don't forget to grab a snack and let's jump into it. It looks so plain in the background. It's like just white furniture. I'm gonna try to redecorate my background because I know it's kind of like boring and bland, but just bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the brows as always. I'm actually really excited because I found like this brow definer. This is the LA Colors Brownie Wowie Brow Pencil in light medium. This is the only shade that they had, so I was like, okay, maybe this will work. This has a really nice edge. It looks like the Anastasia Brow Definer with the edge. Love that. I'm just gonna outline my brows with this. Oh, I already like it. That's good. The color is probably a little too like light for me, but the formula is really good. So they didn't have a brow pomade. That's what I typically fill in the rest of my brows with, but they did have a brow kit and I used to use brow kits all the time. So I got this one and this is a darker one. So I thought it would be perfect. This one is in shade medium. It actually looks pretty dark for a shade medium, but we're gonna go with it. And I'm gonna use the two brown colors in here because the black would be way too dark for me. And I'm gonna just fill in the rest of my brows. I actually don't hate this. I feel like they're a little bit too light for me, but I don't hate it. Like I actually like the way that this looks. I haven't used a brow powder in a long time. Cause I always use a pomade, but this is actually a nice formula. It's very natural and it's like, you can see it's super easy to apply. Like it just glides on the brow. So I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up my concealer, <laughs> clean up my concealer, clean up my brows with concealer. And I'm gonna use this concealer from Broadway Colors. This was like $3. It's like one of those concealers that you twist up. It's very light. As you can see, it's literally super light. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this underneath my eyes, but what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit right here. I'm just gonna use a flat concealer brush. This one's from ColourPop. Mm, the concealer is okay. It's a little bit too sheer for what I like to use it for, but I mean, as you can see, it gets the job done. So I'm using an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush just to blend that in. They had this color and then they had like a deep shade and that was like honestly orange. So I just went with this color. They also had like a light medium, but it was sold out. So that's the only thing that's like not good about makeup like this is that the shade range is like awful so then i'm really excited about this look at this eyeshadow primer what does this remind you of 
I know, right? Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh my gosh, it comes with a little applicator. That's just like the Urban Decay Primer Potion, isn't it? Oh, I like that. So since my nails are like super long, I'm just gonna use that same brush from earlier for the concealer just to blend that out. Oh wow, it actually feels nice. Feels like the primer potion. I haven't used that in a long time, but it reminds me of it. Blends out really nice. Okay, so I got three different eyeshadow palettes and the first one that I got is this one from LA Colors. And look at how pretty these shades are. Oh, and that eye primer was only $3, by the way. Oh, that scared me. Um, eyeshadow palette was $3. I'm gonna start off with my NYX blending brush. And I'm gonna be taking this shade right here in the middle, which actually says lid, but I never really follow what the eyeshadow palettes say. So I'm gonna just take this in my crease. Okay, so the color is showing up. This brush is great from NYX. I think you can find it at Ulta, I'm pretty sure. I ordered this online, but it's amazing for blending out color in the crease. That's a really nice transition color. Like even if you don't do any other makeup and you just do a color like this in the crease, it looks so pretty. Then I'm gonna take the crease color right here on the end and I'm gonna apply that on the outer crease. I'm gonna use a white haired brush. This one's from Amazon. I think eyeshadow palettes like this honestly are really good if you are like just starting out with makeup like you have no idea what you're doing and you just want to kind of practice and you don't want to spend a lot of money because the colors are doable and there's actually not even any fallout which is good and I'm like building the shade up quite a bit and I got this eyeshadow palette from Broadway colors can you see why I was intrigued by it by these purples and this like gold shade so pretty this was i also i believe was three dollars so pretty i think i'm gonna use this shade right over here which is like a bronzy tone let's touch it it feels actually pretty soft and mm, it's not super pigmented but i'm gonna spray my brush i'm gonna use a flat shader brush from bh cosmetics today and i'm gonna dip in here and then i'm gonna spray my brush and i have this broadway colors matte finish setting spray which i'm gonna use later on Okay, so that's not that pigmented. Just gives you like a really light wash of color. It's not like the most terrible thing that I've ever tried, especially for this being $3. So I'm gonna build it up. Oh, see, you build it up and it's actually gonna show up more. Packing it on. I feel like once you get past that first layer, then the product really becomes more pigmented. I like this. It kind of looks like, um, reminds me of like McDonald's, like um, ketchup and mustard. So I'm gonna add some purple to that because I feel like I need to like balance it out. So I'm gonna use a different white haired brush and I'm just dipping into this purple right here. And I'm gonna apply that kind of like on the center of my lid to break up that sort of like yellow and red color so that it doesn't look like straight up ketchup and mustard. No, it's not really picking up a lot of the purple. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the 16 color eyeshadow palette from LA Colors. Mm -hmm. This was also like $3, let me double check. Oh, this was $4. So what I'm gonna do, cause I don't know, I kinda wanna add something to the center of the lid i think i want to do a little bit of like a green bronzy tone i'm gonna mix these two colors so this one right here on the end and this up here by the way don't mind my hands i have eczema all over them i've been getting the worst eczema like all over my hands and or my mouth it's kind of going away but my hands like i've been itching so bad i'm gonna use this royal and lang nickel rounded brush this is specifically called the smoky eye brush i'm gonna dip into the darker green a little bit and with the lighter green i'm just adding that to the center oh wow that's pretty i know i just did like a green look this week on my channel but i love green it's like one of my favorite colors to use in the fall time that is so pretty kind of mixing the two together with that flat shader brush 
I'm gonna go in with that lighter green with that same brush and I'm just gonna mix it over top so that it blends better. Okay, so I added a little bit more of the light green and I mixed it with that gold that I was using earlier and I kind of like this more because it's a little bit more subtle gradient from the light color to the dark color. Like it looked a little bit too harsh of a contrast for me. So I like this a lot. This LA Color 16 color palette, like the greens in here are really, really pigmented. They're actually really pretty. So that I like so far. This one from Broadway Colors takes a little bit more building up, but it's not bad. I'm gonna jump back into this one from LA Colors again. This one's actually called the Nude Palette. And I'm gonna do some of these dark colors right over here in the crease. Okay, so I'm gonna just blend out the edges. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I picked up this right here. This is the LA Colors Graphics Liquid Liner in shade black. This one was $2. It's kind of a stiffer brush, but I think with the eye tapes, it should work. Wow, that is like super black. I'm not loving the brush because it's not very flexible, but I'm really liking the formula of it though. I'm to move that. Could probably use a little bit of cleaning up, but I, I like that. If the brush was different, I would love it, but it's kind of just me being picky. Well, for mascara, they had actually a bunch of mascaras, but I just went with this one. It's the Lash Perfection Lengthening brush and you can see the brush actually looks really really nice so i got this one in black this was two dollars mm, smells like it smells like perfume kind of i don't feel like it's doing a whole lot for me but i don't really need a lot anyway because i'm just gonna do falsies these are the lashes i went with in the style sultry okay so i'm gonna pop these on with some lash glue i'm just using my favorite lash glue from kiss it's like three dollars so it's still affordable and I'm gonna pop these on. I'm gonna kind of fix my wings a little bit and then we're gonna move into the skin, which I'm so excited for. So I will catch back with you guys in five minutes, but one second. Lashes are on, I actually don't mind them. I did add a coat of mascara over top of them and they're not bad, they're super natural. So if you like super, super natural lashes, I think you would like these and they were 250. For primer, I'm gonna use this one from Broadway. This one is the Blur Imperfections Blurring Primer. It's like a pinky sort of, or orange color. This one was $5. Kinda has like that silicone sort of texture, kind of the similar consistency to the Benefit Porefessional, if you guys are familiar with that. That was pretty nice, smoothed out my skin pretty nicely. I like it. For foundation, I got the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. I've never tried this before, so I'm excited. I got this one in golden beige. They also had a Broadway Colors BB cream, but I'm more of a foundation kind of gal. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So I picked up some different makeup sponges. So the first one came in this little packaging right here. This is the Precise Coverage Blending Sponge. This was $2. Then I got three blending sponges for $3.50. So I'm gonna show you. These feel a lot nicer than the other one. I didn't even show you the other one. This is the $2 one. I got it damp under the sink. It doesn't feel super squishy. I don't think that I'm gonna use it. It feels kind of like hard, but these feel amazing. These are the ones that came in the three pack, like the contour sponge. So this is the black one. This is so squishy. It literally feels like a beauty blender. And then these are the contouring ones, which also feel really really nice I think these are perfect for contouring or even like baking because you see this nice edge right here it's gonna be really really nice so I think I'm gonna use these three today so 350 not bad these feel super squishy it's a little bit of a moussey like thicker formula oh actually I think this color is gonna be like good it might be like a tad bit too dark but I think I can make it work. Mm. The color is not bad. This is a really nice formula though. It's blending out really, really nicely, even though it is a thicker 
formula. Blend it out really good. I could have probably went down a shade, but I wasn't sure if the other one would be good for me just because it looked really light. I'm going to layer this because I love full coverage. Oh my gosh, this sponge is amazing. And I think this looks really, really good. Like, other than the color being off, obviously. Covered up everything. I would say this is definitely medium to full coverage. And I like it. Then for concealer, I don't really want to go in with this really light one. Because I think it's going to be too light. I have this LA Colors Cover Up Concealer Stick. And this one's in medium beige. Oh, this is super thick. I feel like it's not very like pigmented. Uh, yeah, this doesn't cover up anything. I definitely like the foundation more than the concealer. You know, these sponges could be really good too if you're like a freelance makeup artist and you don't wanna spend $20 on a beauty blender. These are really good to add in your kit because they're super squishy and you can see they blend out the product nicely. So I am actually gonna use this other concealer that I was using earlier for my brows. I'm just gonna use a little bit because I feel like I need a little bit extra coverage. Oh, this is like very sheer too. Hmm. I like the foundation, but not the concealer so far. This is like the only downer in this video. Just because it doesn't have any coverage, as you can see, and the shades are not the greatest. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. I got a translucent powder, and you guys know I'm obsessed with translucent powder, so this is the loose powder from LA Colors. Oh yeah, this might be a little too light. I'm hoping that once I blend it out, it'll be good. Cause normally translucent powder is like generally really light. I'm just gonna press this in all over. I love using translucent powder with a sponge. I feel like it looks 10 times better. I feel like the concealer is kind of throwing things off for me because the powder is actually not, actually, actually not bad. And you can see it blended out really nicely. I got this contouring palette from LA Colors. Look how good this looks. This was $6. So this was like the most expensive thing, which is still like affordable to me. So I'm gonna use these colors right here a little bit of this one i'm gonna use this up and up brand brush from target i don't know if they even make these anymore and i'm so sad because these brushes are amazing oh that's a nice color i like how the palette is matte oh wait look that kind of orange. Is that the foundation? I guess I didn't blend the foundation out all the way. And I can kind of see like where it ends on my face. It's on my bed. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of translucent powder to clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of a smaller brush. This one's from Royal and Lang Nickel as well. I don't wanna do too much bronzer because I don't want it to be like too much, but I'm gonna just take that and kinda, of... it's very pigmented. So then for blush, I got two blushes, which I'm really excited for. So the first one is the LA Colors Rad Rouge Blush. They had, I believe, five different colors. This is like the more peachy toned one. This one is in shade Chill. Then I got this Broadway Powder Cheek Palette. Look how cute this is. Let's see the prices on these. I believe the blushes were like $3. So both of these were actually $5, so each. I have this brush from Target. It's from Sonia Kashuk. I'm gonna start off with this palette right here and I'm gonna just mix all three shades. Gives you a really light wash of color. Oh wow, 
Wow, that's pretty. It's like a rosy tone blush. Looks super natural. I actually like that. And I'm gonna take the other blush. Mm, I like this one better, for sure. Yeah, this is much like softer and I feel like it's a lot more blendable. I'm just gonna blend this bronzer out and blush and the bakage and everything. And this brush is from Forever 21. Mm. <laughs> There's like a line. What do I do? Let's blend it out. That's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. <laughs> the line was really like super defined there. So really quick, I'm gonna just set my brows before I forget. This is the LA Colors Tinted Brow Gel. This was $2. This is the shade Light. This is the only color that they had. So I had to snag it up. My brows look pretty light, but I don't think that they look terrible. Like I've had way worse brow days. Oh yeah, this is way too light for me. But I like the brush though. It's just not a good color for me. So, oh, almost forgot highlighting. Girl, cannot forget that. This is the Strobing Illuminating Highlighter from LA Colors. This was only $2.50, which is good. I'm using my Amazon highlighting brush. Oh. Pretty. It's very intense. They had three different shades. They had a very like pinky one and then they had this one and then also like, it kind of had like a green undertone to it. So I knew this one was like the one that I would be most intrigued by and like more flattering. That's really pretty. This could be even like a really good highlighting topper just because it is so intense. I mean, not everybody likes their highlight like this. Okay, so we can jump into the eyes and then we'll be done and then we'll do lips and we'll be finished. So I am gonna just take the nude palette from LA Colors once again and I'm gonna use the same crease shades that I was using earlier. Um, this color right here, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this cranberry shade as well and I'm gonna apply that on my lower lash line. I'm also going to use the strobing powder to go ahead and highlight the inner corners and brow bone. Wow, this is really, really intense. And I'm not even spraying my brush. Gonna go in with this LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this one is in Sultry. They didn't have a lip liner, so I'm just gonna go bare. Ooh, these smell good. This is kind of like stinging my lips a little bit. Like it almost feels like a lip plumper. Okay, so I got two glosses. One is a nude in Wink and the other one is in shade Clear. It's just a clear gloss. These are both from LA Colors. This is from their High Shine line. I'm gonna top this off with a gloss. I'm gonna use the nude color. Oh, that's pretty. Finally, I'm gonna go ahead and set with the Broadway Colors Matte Setting Spray. Oh, nice spray My eyelash is lifted. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look. Honestly, I don't think that it is terrible. Like, this is this is doable. Like, I would go out and in this makeup look. Like, I don't care. I don't think that this look is bad at all. There were some products that weren't my favorite. The two things that I really just didn't like were the concealers, both of them. I just don't like the coverage. I don't like the consistency. I don't like these concealers. I also really didn't like the mascara. I just felt like it didn't really do much for my top or bottom lashes. Other than that though, it's really, it's not terrible. The foundation, I definitely need to go down a shade, but it blended out really nicely. The powder, I do want to mention this does give flashback. So if you like to take photos of flash, this is not going to be a good look for you. It looks pretty dry with the photo that I took and it looks very white. So just keep that in mind, but like just on an everyday basis, I don't think that it is 
terrible. It's definitely not like a new favorite of mine, but it's not terrible. Some standout products for me were definitely these sponges right here. These are amazing. I would definitely repurchase them for $3.50. They're great, and this was very bouncy, and I love the way that it felt. I feel like this is definitely a really good beauty blender dupe. I also really liked this eyeshadow primer. I can't wait to keep using this with other eyeshadow palettes in my collection because I really liked the way that it applied, how it blended out. This was good. This highlighter, I was super impressed with it. It was beaming. I mean, as you can see, that is intense. So this is really beautiful. I also do like this contouring kit for $6. I don't think it's bad at all. And then I also wanted to mention that this Broadway cheek palette, this was stunning. Like I absolutely love this color. This gave me a really nice wash of color without being too much. I wasn't a huge fan also of this other blush from LA Colors, but this blush palette is gorge. The lip color is a little light for me, but I think mixing it with a lip liner, it would be perfect because this is a really beautiful shade. Also this face primer, it was pretty good too. I liked that. And the setting spray was really good. I do feel like this definitely mattified my skin. It actually feels a little bit dry, like, but it definitely feels matte. So if you have oily skin, I think you might like this. Just my first impression, it's matte. Oh yeah, I also really like this jumbo eye pencil. I mean, it wasn't bad on my waterline. I don't know how long it's gonna last on the waterline, but it was pretty creamy. And the eyeshadows were doable. I mean, for the price, they were all under $5.00. I'm pretty sure. So all in all, the products weren't bad. There were some things that stood out to me a little bit more than others, but I think some of these are definitely worth trying. So let me know if you guys have tried any of these products down below. What else should I test out next? I have a few things, actually. I have still Beauty Bakery that I wanna test out. Shop Miss A, I need to do an updated video on that. So there's a couple other things coming, but if there's anything else that you guys wanna see me test out, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for everything. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in a few days in my next video. Bye.